So we talked about the tree, which is that our school would typically put up people's names and where they got accepted. And now that's virtual, they've made it an Instagram and they're trying to get us to submit these responses of where people are going. And they're, they're posting pictures of people. Brendan's was amazing though. Let's put into a really like basic example or like that, whatever. Let's say I'm going to COC, I'm gonna transfer. Uh, but early on in my high school, I was a lazy piece of crap. I literally didn't do work. So um, everything tanked. So let's say I got into somehow, I got into Berkeley, right? But someone else didn't. And they were like, they worked, all, they worked harder than me all four years. They did a bunch of these extracurriculars, but I got in. If they post that on, that makes that person feel like a piece of shit. Cause they're like, how did this person get in without doing anything? Or I worked harder than this person. I did more than this person. Then you're just basically you're creating infighting and you're making beef and you're also making people who didn't get into these colleges feel much worse about themselves because I couldn't get in. I just think it's a bit like stupid to do that just because school does have a habit of just like people constantly comparing themselves to others. So I thought it, like, I, I know, I, I know not everyone's going to be going on there, but like a lot of people are going to be going on there. See the people who got into the schools that got rejected from and just feel bad about themselves. So I just felt like, like, cause like the other thing is if you want to like, like rumors spread really fast, decisions spread fast. Like people already know where a lot of people are going and not everyone wants to share that information. So it's like that too. I mean, the basic idea is it's just online pre-recorded graduation. Now, oh, I'm just gonna walk down my hallway and be like, shake some person's hand that's invisible off screen. Yeah, I'm not it's doing that shit, right? I <laughs> and then, West, then they give it to West Range and then they edit it. Yeah, I refuse. I refuse. No, my parents are very excited for that. So I'm like, okay. We're, we're, we're fucking outsourcing. A, we're outsourcing our graduation <laughs> to West Range. <laughs> exactly. I mean, we West have West a Ridge? lot of video editors here. We could have done it ourselves. They took our jobs. Let's just sneak onto campus and let's just go. Let's just all just yeah. go to COC, bring our own chairs and podium, have just Six three random apart. people. Just exactly, and then just have like three random people go for a speech. We just like everyone throw in, like we just draw, like you know how everyone has like their student number, like one through whatever. We just yeah. go in and just pick up three random numbers. They have to go give a speech. Yeah. Well, see, yeah, I mean, don't do that problems, because uh, I, I can just bring my my guitar amp and then hook a mic to it, and then we'll yeah, an announcer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, start saying Green Day. And then the second like a security guard sees us, we just all just scatter. <laughs> oh, no, no. See if they come, the closer they get, just be like careful. I'm gonna cough on you. I'm gonna cough. <laughs> the outer layers, people who actually are sick, so that they just can't get it. <laughs> As they get closer, you're like, oh, oh my god, my, my throat's okay. been dry all day. What do you guys uh, think of King Jong Un's sister? I don't know. Oh my god, um, dude, I have... sister? No comment. So, <laughs> I don't. Uh, what? I plead the mean. fifth. I plead the fifth. So what I've heard is that she is more tyrannical than Kim Jong himself. What did so, you expect? People saying that if Kim Jong-un dies, the world would be a better place. Which, by the way, there is someone, one of our friends, that argued that. It's not going to be a better place. And that shit no. would get worse. Like, way worse. <laughs> if she became president. Not president. What am I saying? You mean dictator? <laughs> dictator, yeah. That's you have no idea. What what you yeah. What do you mean? It is the honorable president of the Democratic Republic. No. Honorable. <laughs> the DPRK. Yes, the Democratic <laughs> Okay, also, um, <laughs> so there's apparently a subreddit where people make, um, they make hentai fan art of her. And it's oh honestly God, just really Of course there is. Of course, yeah. You know apparently, what? Uh, apparently every time like I think humanity okay. can't get any lower. Yeah. They, 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 and this has happened before, because um, there was a Ukrainian dictator, not dictator, a Ukrainian general that... I, f I forgot what her name was, but like she was really young, and like a lot of people online thought she was hot, so they started memeing on her and making a bunch of like, fucking Rule Thirty Four shit. So let's go. Like I said, it's a repeat of like I said. That. Um, but I have a question, Matt. How do you know about this? Um, okay, okay. <laughs> is, I'll be honest. In the Someone sent it to me. So oh, oh, screw this. My t I have a I have a type for dictators that would probably want me dead. Because I live in the That's, United States of America. Matt wants someone that can all, that will take care of him and also kill him if he says something wrong. Matt, yeah, I'm a that, nice guy. This is not getting edited out.
me. No, no, what else? I'm is not going to edit it. G's going to edit have, it. So doesn't, he's going to have Kim a Jong, good look at those pictures. Didn't Kim Jong have like a nephew or something like that? That was like. Yeah. So the story is um, he assassinated his brother in 2017 uh, because in 2001, uh, his brother got excommunicated from the country because he was caught um, bringing his nephew, bringing his son, which is Kim Jong un's nephew, into uh, Disneyland Japan. All they wanted to do was have a little fun, but he got kicked out of North Korea just because of that. Okay. So uh, fast forward like like a, a decade and a half later, he gets killed, and uh, now uh, his Kim Jong Un's nephew, I forgot what his name was, he's like in his, I think he's like 24, 25. Like no one has seen him for like the past like three years because he could easily get killed, just like his father. Damn! Imagine the nephew killed Kim Jong-un and pulled the ultimate Kim Jong-un reverse card. Oh Kim Jong-un reverse card. <laughs> okay, his name is Kim Han, Kim Han So. And there's a picture of him here. He would literally think he's a, like a K-pop star or something Wait, like Kim that. Pa- Kim, uh, what? Kim, Kim, Han, Han Kim Han So is his name. So. Uh-huh. S-O-L. Son. Man is not that bad looking. I'm not going to lie in some of these photos. Yeah. No homo. He, but, looks, um, like, he looks like a cool dude. Right. Didn't this, he does. Didn't he study in like America or something like that? Uh, I think he studied in like somewhere in Europe. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And he speaks English. Oh. The anti lockdown protests. Hmm? Oh God. Oh my. Can we talk Uh-oh. about that by the way? Um, <clears throat> I was. I'm gonna lose brain cells talking about this. There was a uh, there's an account on Instagram. It's called like uh, What's Up SCV. And they basically like report on like Santa Clarita events and up and news updates. Like for example, okay, there was a post here today that said that there are 468 cases of COVID-19 in Santa Clarita as of yesterday. Now, some of these comments I looked down because uh, they were talking about how uh, Mayor Eric Garcetti was like considering reopening. Some people were commenting that um, that we should not have done lockdown in the first place. We really need to go to yeah, fucking California here, yeah. pizza, pizza Kitchen instead of saving those lives, you know? Because yeah. you know what? One CPK pizza is worth the equivalent of like 10 or 15 people. Uh, recently, Santa Clarita was found to be the 17th highest, uh, to have the 17th highest unemployment growth uh, in the nation. The people say, like, oh, COVID's going to make it. It's already going downhill. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> if they get comfortable too early, then it's going to go back up. There aren't many jobs in Santa Clara to begin with. We're a suburb to LA. Most of the people that work in that live in Santa Clara work somewhere else. Yeah. Or they live they work outside of the city. Inside the city, the only really jobs is if you're a small business owner, you don't at least in Valencia, because we have like we don't have a lot of like um family owned restaurants in Valencia. Yeah, they're small think, business owners. Yeah. They either work they work at like a major business of somewhere like you are you're like a yeah. salesperson at McDonald's or you work at like Walmart or something like that. Mm-hmm. Or you're like a teacher. That's like the three things we have in the valley. Swear if I see so, yeah. bricks go out of business and you scream. That's the one place I Yeah, would not... dude, the burgers are so good. Oh my god. I'm gonna put pictures up right now. This is amazing burgers. Yeah, bricks, dude. Mm-hmm. Trust Literally. us, guys. We are not sponsored. We are not sponsored. But dude, however, however, if they would like, <laughs> they make their own aioli. No. I swear, I would lick that aioli off of energy if he was lacking. Okay, okay, no, no, okay, no, okay. Let's. Stop. We're gonna get a leftist audience. Look at the five minorities talking about left. Is it like they're immigrants, and immigrants are like I'm just saying. immigrants. What are immigrants? I only see illegal. Isn't it a federal oh. grant program to help people is... pay for houses? <laughs> I <don't> think so. <laughs> the immigrants. Grants? All I see are government handouts. Okay, so now we're literally not going to have any, uh, the, the actual thing's going to be five minutes long because of how much has to get cut out. All right. I watched from one Hulu and it's just Christy Smith wants to fire teachers. Christy Smith like... Smith already supported firing teachers and threatening jobs. During these frightening times, we can't trust Sacramento politician Christy Smith. NRCC is responsible for the content of this ad. (laughs) It's another goddamn fucking Katie Hill, like all these goddamn ads about her. Okay, and then there was there was like a video leak of her. She was like, she was quote unquote denigrating those who serve. Did you guys know he's a pilot? I 
how you know that really? I read about it on his campaign <laughs> website. He's a pilot. <laughs> I uh, I sent I sent to my team, so we we both logged on because we had to do this virtual coin toss, and I texted my team, and I'm like, okay, he's got pictures of planes behind him. I've got constitutional law books, <laughs> right? And then conservatives kind of took that and said that liberal key. Liberal Christy Smith denigrates those who serve. I saw that. I heard that. Uh, that literally made me not want to vote for her at all. Like I'm like, how stupid. Yeah, it is. Can... It is a bad look. Not gonna no, lie. No, it's not even a bad yeah. look. It's just something a shitty person says. Like, oh, this person was fighting for our country and they were a pilot. Haha, -ha, that's funny. That is laughable. Like, yeah, what I happened? Think... Like respecting people that serve. Like he may not have the same ideas or policies as you, but you can respect him as a human being still. Like. Yeah. This actually happened in the Jenk Uger campaign when we were doing the congressional things. There was yeah. a volunteer meeting. It was just for volunteers. Like, you specifically had to sign up. And all of a sudden, all these guys were there screaming about, Oh my God! Get out, you carpet beggar! What I'm going to do is I'm not going to talk about just generalities. I'm going to say that Republicans take money from the NRA and gun manufacturers to yeah. sell you out, and we all die because of it. Yeah. We and care your about the die students. because of it. What are the okay? names of the yeah. students? That they're corrupt sons of bitches, and I'm going to get them for you. That's right. Thank you. Thank I'm going to get them for you. Yeah. Yeah. I am. Yeah. That's what I do. I fight for you. Okay? So, and if, if I was in Congress right now and this shooting happened, I'd go out and I'd say, this son of a bitch Mitch McConnell did it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He yeah. took the money. He took one point for many. That's right. He took $1.2 million in bribes from the NRA. And I'm not going to stand for it. Oh, oh that, was the, that was the first meeting, right? That was the first. That's the one where yeah, I did yeah, yeah. video and I was like, this is awesome. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. I can't wait to go to Berkeley. What happened after? What did he, what did he do? He just left because people were screaming. And I was just, what's it called? Uh, I mean, I was enjoying it. I love a good screaming match, you yeah. know? Yeah, same. We love great drama.